Hi guys, uh, Steve Carew here, Fully Mill Technical Manager. I'm here in the beautiful hut at Tescoom Fishery, and I'm going to tie some of Fully Mill's top patterns using some of our new amazing fly tie material. Okay, so this here is the Paul Proctor Target Beetle. It's probably one of the patterns Paul's best known for. Um, very effective sort of beetle pattern, uh, whether you're using it in summer, like casting it underneath trees, sort of overhanging trees. Very effective fly. I'll show you how to tie it, it's really, it's really easy. So, the hook I'm gonna use for this might be a little bit weird to some people, but it's our new grab gape heavy. Um, I think for work we actually tie these on um, our ultimate dry hook. I quite like using this um, grab gate heavy though. Gives the hook, uh, gives the fly just a, a little bit more weight. And when you're um, dropping that fly in underneath the uh, overhanging trees, just the fact that it lands with a bit of a plop, I think it really attracts the fish. So, um, right, first things first, attach your tying thread. Uh, in fact, I'm going to use the thicker one. It's, it's, this, I would say this isn't really a pattern for using super fine thread. Um, really fine thread cuts through the foam um, and it just doesn't really matter on this pattern. So this is quite a thick tying thread. So the um, shell back for this fly is just a bit of booby tube. Um, and I like to roughly cut it in half. Okay. As with all sort of foam, you know, if you left a bit more foam on, it's going to float a bit higher. Uh, if you trim a bit off, uh, it's going to ride a little bit lower. But just taper that up a little bit so it's easy to tie in. So just take your tying thread right back. I take it just a smidgen around the bend and then just catch that in and then run your tying thread down. Okay, make sure that's nice and secure and sitting where you want it to be. Then the uh, body for this material is the um, Fuller Mill Streamer Straggle in Micro. And this is the black UV one. Um, so it's got black translucent strands and little short UV strands in it. Um, in, in the same way that a natural beetle has some sort of like iridescence to the bottom of it, this gives a similar effect. And the little fibers coming off just makes it look all leggy and spiky and buggy to the fish. Um, let's just chop that off. Okay. Tie that in. And you'll notice I haven't completely compressed all the the uh, sort of like the butts of the foam as I'm tying it in just adds a little bit more buoyancy to the fly. Um, so then we just wind this streamer straggle micro over the top. Okay, and just go backwards and forwards, make a nice buggy body, catch that in, tie it off, just remove the waste piece. Now just um, bring that foam over the back. Once again, try not to compress it too much because it will just take quite a lot of the buoyancy out of the fly. And then just tie that down towards the eye. Just make sure you don't completely crowd the eye. Um, you just want a little bit of space for Tying in the little target. So, next material we're going to use is this is a, a product I'm quite excited about actually. It's the Fulling Mill Ultra Dry Yarn. So, in COVID, um, I was desperately trying to find a new yarn that we could use that was super high floating, a hollow fiber yarn. And Ultra Dry Yarn, it's a hollow fiber yarn. Um, so this stuff, while I was sitting at home, not allowed to go to work during COVID times, 
I tied a fly up with this material, stuck it in a jam jar uh, full of water. Over the period of about two or three months, all of the water evaporated, the fly was still floating, and mould grew over the top of the fly. Um, this stuff floats really, really well. Um, use it for parachute posts, little indicator spots, um, anything where you need a high floating yarn, give this stuff a go. It's really, really good. Um, so just get a short piece of this. Easiest way to tie it in is just fold it around your thread, bring it up and just drop it in there. Okay, all right, that's secure. Just cut that to a bit more of a manageable length. And then next material is just tactical microflash dub. Um, so this is like a textured pearlescent dubbing. Uh, this is in a peacock color. Um, again, just gives that sort of pearlescent look to the bottom of the fly. Um, really nice dub and use it for dry flies or nymphs or whatever you want really. So it's really fine. Dubs on really easy. So just a little bit of dubbing there. Just fill up this little spot. And once that's where you want it, just pull this foam back that's uh, sitting over the front of the eye. And just tie that down tight. Okay. When you're happy with that, just apply a little bit of super glue to the thread. A bit much there. And then we'll whip finish. remove the tag piece of the thread. This piece of foam here, just cut that short. And then this little indicator post, you can cut it to whatever length you wanted, but just like that, it's perfect. Okay, so that is the Paul Proctor Target Beetle. Really good for in summer, for terrestrial feeders. Even if you don't see fish rising, uh, chuck it underneath overhanging trees, it's a really effective pattern.